Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to upgrade the BIOS on your ASUS laptop. Okay guys, so recently I did a video which highlighted an issue with the ASUS Strix GL702V uh, in-game lag, which actually lagged the game out every time Turbo Boost was turned on. So I showed you a video which would fix this by using a bit of software called Throttle Stop, which would actually turn off the Turbo Boost. And after I did that, I went and posted this fix up on the uh, Republic of Gamers ASUS website. And since then, uh, about a week later or so, they actually released a new BIOS, which actually fixed the, um, the problem with Turbo Boost straight up. And very kindly, they also managed to remove my post as well, which highlighted their issue. So um, thanks for that, ASUS. Really appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, at least they, uh, at least I've highlighted an issue with the laptop there, and we finally have a have a proper fix for it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to apply a BIOS upgrade to your ASUS laptop, and we can get those if you go to the downloads part of the One Two Three My IT website, and then you scroll down. And you'll see a part there where it says ASUS GL702VM-DB71305 BIOS Turbo Boost Fix. Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually put the version of uh, BIOS up on the website here. So you can just download from here. But only download this if you have this exact same model number. Do not try applying this to other models. Okay, so all right, let's say you want to check if you've got a BIOS upgrade for a different model of laptop. What you should do is you should get the model. So we highlight the ASUS and the model there. We're going to hit copy. And then what you would do is go across to a Google website and just type in your uh, model number plus uh, BIOS after it. Okay, and then one of the very first few. Uh, links here should actually take you to your model okay you can choose whichever model you have as you can see here i've got the vm so i would make sure i choose that then scroll down go to windows 10 and then go to bios and you can grab your bios here now this is where i got the bios from as you can see there it was updated recently uh, from some pressure from the public and then if we want the bios utility we're also going to need to download this one as well. So these two links are actually on the website here. So if you uh, want the 305 BIOS for this model, you can click here. And then if you want to download the WinFlash program, you can also click here and download that. So the WinFlash program is what we use to install the BIOS. And we'll show you that right now. Okay, guys, so I've had to switch back to the uh webcam because the win flash boss has been playing havoc with my uh, desktop recorder software so what we'll need to do now is once you've downloaded both your win flash and your bios we're going to go into the folder and run the win flash uh, application all right there it is there and you can see here win flash is a bios update tool do not make any inappropriate changes to the bios settings since it may result in instability or boot failure so just read and understand what you're uh, what you're getting into there and if we have a look down below that we've got our network is okay adapter is connected to the device so you'll need to plug in your power adapter before it will go ahead and then it's just also checking that our battery is okay we're going to hit next there all right, now you can actually go and click on Get BIOS from the web, and that will go out to the web and find a BIOS for your version of laptop. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is go Get BIOS from the device, and we're going to use the one that we downloaded. Okay, and we're just going to click on the one that we downloaded. All right, now you see we've got our current BIOS information. So this will show you the information on the BIOS that's currently installed on the laptop. And if we go down below that, we've got BIOS update information. So this will be the BIOS that it will update to. As you can see, they're the same versions because I've already updated uh, this laptop with the 305 version. And our update button down the bottom is actually greyed out. However, if this was a later version of BIOS, this update button would be wouldn't be grayed out and we'd be able to click on that 
the wind flash program would apply the BIOS and do a restart to our computer. Okay guys, so if you've applied this BIOS and it's helped out, please leave a comment in the comments section below. I'd really like to know if it, if it stopped the in-game lag for you or not. And that's pretty much it from me guys. So if this was a helpful video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.